even going in and meeting with the doctor that we met with, he was like, I'm pretty sure you have narcolepsy, and I'm like, but I'm choosing to sleep. I'm like, how can that be? Because around 16, I would sleep.
called him and told him and he's like, yeah, he was like, that would explain her sleep study. So, you know, we were like, yay, this is solved. Like, she's bipolar, that's a problem. So, they get me on medicine for my bipolar and I stable out and that's when things get bad. All of a sudden, sleep attacks are being a part of my life now and if you don't know what a sleep attack is, I don't know if this is what they're like for everyone, but this is what it's like for me. It's this blackness that like overcomes you and like veils your body and your body is kind of just screaming at you and is like sleep, sleep and it's just this loudness just tiredness and coming in and out of consciousness like I'd be out for a few seconds and I'd be up and then my body's telling me I need to stay up but my body's also telling me I need to go to sleep and like it's very emotional I'd cry a lot of the times and my body was just begging to go to bed and like I said it's this horrible feeling I wish I could describe it but they'd happen every night around 9 o'clock like around 9 and 10 I'd have a sleep attack and I'd have really vivid dreams I mean I already had really vivid dreams the vivid dreams have been going on for a while but
you know, now I'm finally starting to get into a routine, which is nice, and yeah, so I'm living a semi-normal lifestyle, but I am kind of discouraged, because my sleep doctor was like, you may never have a normal life, and that just broke my heart, and it still gets me teared up every time I think about it. say they're tired and they can keep going. That's what I feel every day. Whenever I'm tired, it's I'm going to pass out. Like, your idea of tired, whenever y'all are tired, is what I feel every day of my life. And then, I don't think start taking more hours, but that's been it. 